going on guys? It's me, Mr. No Nonsense, back with another video, and today we're going to be looking at silver certificates, $1 silver certificates to be specific, because uh, I'm unsure of how many I really have that are all silver certificates, but we'll get around to seeing them all eventually. Don't you guys worry about it. And so, like I said, today we're looking at the $1 bring these on in I got a, a nice little stack of them and you know I try I don't really try to collect paper money I'm much more of a you know silver bug as they say but I I mean I have it in my collection and I figure it was worth silver at one point why not look at it so we're gonna start here uh this one appears to be a 35 and don't worry they get progressively better looking but on the you know the flip side of that it's they get progressively newer also uh but like i said 35 look at the back on that one you know folded up it was you know it was currency it was used as to pay somebody's bills at one point who knows we have another 35 you know ruffled nothing too awful Let's keep going here we go another 35 a little rougher shape a little tear oh no oh, that's a fold i thought i had uh, you know minor tears on the edges as money does here's a 57 this is probably the worst looking 57 in my collection which it looks like someone folded it into a hat at one point and then unfolded it so there's always that uh yeah another 57 which i think the rest of them are probably gonna be 57s but we'll keep looking and just look how nice that blue stamp is. I really miss all the, like, you know, two or three colors we had on money that were really vibrant as opposed to ten colors. Everything just kind of gets muddied up. Another 57. Folded right in half, long ways, or hot dog style, depending on how old you are. Uh, another 57. This one was... I don't, I don't know what's up with people folding money long ways. Maybe they all went into vending machines. Okay, here we go. We're starting to get some uh, nicer looking ones. Still 57s. Starting to look crisp. Almost brand new. And here we go. Here's a nice, fresh 57. Look at that. Almost looks like it was cut just yesterday. A little bit of a fold in the middle. Hold on, we got some more. You know, that one's a little rougher shape going almost flat almost flat we'll get there and i know i'm not wearing gloves i know there's acid on my hands and oils that one's a little rougher than the other ones but you know it's it's my hobby it's i just collect it for fun i mean i i don't mind it doesn't bother me oh this one's a little rougher than that one look at that one last Still stick, yes, yeah, 57s all the way through. And then probably the nicest 57. Eh, maybe not. Maybe we had a nicer one earlier, but I love the, the blue. Look at how deep of a blue, almost indigo that is, you know? Looks so nice. Okay, put those away. Now, it's the part of the video, my favorite part, maybe second favorite part, of the video. It's trivia time! Okay, silver certificates were considered representative money, and they were issued between 1878 and 1964. And they were produced in response to what people call silver agitation, because essentially everybody was upset that we put all our money into gold and none of it into silver well backed by gold and not by silver and so they started producing silver certificates and they were redeemable for their face value of silver coins and for one year from 1967 to 1968 in raw silver bullion so you could walk right into the bank, ask for, you know, 
here here's 10 silver 10 one dollar silver certificates i'd like 10 morgan dollars and they would cash you out right there or even silver bullion and after 1968 they were only redeemable for federal reserve notes our our you know our normal paper currency right now making them essentially obsolete uh i don't know how much well we'll keep going we'll keep going i'm sure there'll be more facts trivia in case i have more silver certificates uh the large size silver certificates which i had none of i have the smaller size were uh, in denominations of anywhere between $10 and $1,000. And that was from 1878 to 1880. And then 1886, they were done in $1, $2, and $5. And then, starting in 1928, all U.S. banknotes were redesigned and size reduced. So, that concludes our trivia bit of the video like to give a couple shout outs, you know, as usual, to Bradley's Coins. He does great work, great videos, really helping the hobby along. Uh, shout out to Bohemian Staxity. Always check out Bohemian Staxity. He uh, works more in the bullion er area of the hobby, which is nice. Ain't nobody gonna turn down silver. Uh, shout out to America, American Silver Patriot, America Silver Patriot, that's right, America Silver Patriot. Uh, check his channel out, he supports the community greatly, and if you guys want to like, you know, like the video, that'd be cool, uh, you know, hit the bell icon, I'm not sure what all the YouTubers say, uh, you know, do do the YouTube stuff. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.